Welcome to the good ride. So I've been playing around with this little guy here for, um, you know, a couple ups and downs now. And uh, this is the Black Diamond Expedition 3 Flick Lock. And it's just basically, you know, um, a very simple pole in design, but um, very well built and very functional. So how you get it going each time is you kind of set it up there. So like I'm 125, so you line it up there and uh, then do the same thing here, 125, line it up there and there you go. And then when you get to the top, you pop these out and with some of the quick release ones, you know, sometimes they can freeze and get icy. This is pretty straightforward. That's not going to happen. Um, so let me put it back into place now, uh, but it is a little slower getting them out and getting them ready to go again. Um, but the more, uh, the more I've been drifting, the more I appreciate a good pole uh, that's functional, really sturdy, um, not much flex, and uh, really easy to use. And uh, as you can see, today I did a test between both of these guys uh, to see which one I liked better. And I'm kind of, surprisingly enough leaning a little bit more towards this but you have your you know your drawbacks and your positives and your negatives with both for example setting this back up when you get to the bottom is a little bit of work and it's even slower at the top because you have two things you've got to pop or this one you just pop one but then when you compact it up and put it on your uh put it in your backpack here with the straps like I did here against my drift um, it's much easier where this is kind of messy because you've got you know three little things folding down and um, you know it's not that not that um, easy to get in it can get a little messy where this is just really just a way you go and uh, uh, it's got enough length for side hilling it's not the longest but it's still really good and I love the way this feels with gloves on it just feels really um, well designed it's maybe a touch heavier than those leakies um, and so heavier than some of the other poles I've, I've used but um, definitely not too heavy um, I'd love to remove the strap but if if you want to use it it's pretty good and it's uh, easy on and off and feels like it integrates well um, with the pole. Uh, well, let's extend this back out again. Um, there you go. And you can see this just like durability here. It doesn't give very much. Um, other poles I've had give more. Um, and this doesn't have a super deep spike or didn't feel really like um, it felt really good in soft snow um, but um, and pretty about equally good in hard snow um, so that was kind of cool but I would say the one drawback is if you compare this to like let's say that guy right here you can see and let me grab this um, you've got a much better tool for lifting your hill assists um, with this guy than this guy. This guy's definitely lighter too. Um, feels a little lighter, but they're close. They're really close. But I wish this had just a little longer tip. I could get it done easily enough, um, but I like this aspect better. But I like the feel of this. Uh, surprisingly enough, I like the feel of this better with gloves on. I like the feel of this better with my hands. Um, but side hilling, you can see, I can get down a little bit lower um, using the full grip. Let's see, this is about where it stops, but this kind of feels like it's part of it almost because it doesn't have this. It just kind of transitions into the pull. So I feel like I'm getting lower down um, and I like that that aspect better, but this just felt like it had better grip with gloves on. So if, even if I only had this one finger here, um, you know, then I'm kind of about equal. And uh, 
I felt like this was not bad. Um, felt like a good side hiller. But then I could go down to probably here and I've got this little thing right here. So I, this is just a better side, you know, dealing with uh, steep traverses. Um, this is gonna be better, but this isn't that far back behind. And I think all in all, um, it's a nice pole. I, I think the Expedition 3 Flick Lock is not a bad pole. Um, and uh, it's definitely, a, you know, something I'll probably keep um, and use a lot.